I love the question that Sami Zatari asked yesterday. The question was, what evidence would you atheists require before you would believe in a god? I love that question. Not only because I love to see the atheists scramble to try and answer it, but more importantly because it actually isn't a question at all. It sounds like a question, of course it sounds like a question. What evidence would you atheists require before you would believe in a god? What would it take for you to believe in a god? But it's not a question, it's a cry for help. It's like the sort of expression of exasperation that you would expect to hear from a salesman who finds himself facing a lot full of used cars but no buyers. No, it's not a question. And you can see why it's not a question if you realize that what you're actually listening to is an admission of failure. You see, if somebody actually had convincing evidence, they wouldn't have to sit there and ask what it would take. They would simply present their convincing evidence and let it speak for itself. So in a way, this question is in fact, if one would be looking at it cynically, would be quite suspect. If it's not a simple expression of exasperation, it is suspect. Because why would you be asking that question if not to figure out what evidence you would need to fabricate? and present to us. Like I said, if you actually had the evidence, if you had convincing evidence, you wouldn't have to prompt us first, you would just be presenting it. When I saw Sami Zatari ask that question yesterday, I posted a comment on his video and I told him that, that I had lost interest. That's not just because I am stubborn and not interested in hearing evidence, it's because I've heard it all so many times before. And in the end, we mustn't forget that he's trying to convince us of the existence of something that he himself and everybody like him who is trying to proselytize their beliefs to us can't even properly define himself. That's why I don't call myself an atheist, just. I call myself a diatheist. Because when I hear questions like this, I don't sit there and don't start trying to sincerely answer them. I'm taking the diatheistic approach. Dia is a Greek prefix that stands for across, through. And dia Theism is exactly that. It's cutting through the crap.